area and circumference of our circles. All right, area, the formula is area. We note that with a capital A equals pi times radius squared, pi r squared. So how you can remember this is pi's aren't squared, area, pi's r squared. So r is your radius and pi, so that we're all consistent here, Let's use 3.14. If you use um, the calculator button or any kind of button on any kind of calculator, it's going to use um, a, it's going to go out very, a lot of decimals. Um, you know that pi is the number that continues on forever. Um, so for our purposes, let's use 3.14. And our circumference formula, remember, is circumference equals. 2 pi r or pi times diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and write those. r is our radius. Pi, again, let's use 3.14, and d is diameter. Okay, let's look at some examples. We want to find the area and the circumference of each of these circles. So my area is pi r squared. What's my radius? Radius here is 7. I'm just plugging it into the formula. Area equals pi times 7 squared. 7 is the only thing that's being squared here. So whenever I type that into my calculator, it's going to, we're going to square only the 7, not the pi and the 7. So when I do that, I get a area of 153.9. Um, let's round to the nearest tenth. And remember, we're talking about area. So we're talking about square. So our units are going to be squared. All right, let's look at what our circumference is here. Since our radius is 2, we're just plugging that in. So 2 times pi times radius. That's it. When I plug that into my calculator, I get 43.96. Since we are rounding to the nearest tenth, I still put 40. It's 44 millimeters. Our circumference, we're just talking about um, the perimeter around, so it is just millimeters. The area, since we're talking about the area that's covered, it is millimeters squared. All right, let's look at the second one. This, because it goes all the way across, it's our diameter, and it's noting that our diameter is 58. So our diameter is 58. So for our area formula, if you're just given the diameter, you need to find the radius because you have to use radius, not diameter, in our area formula. All right, so then our radius is going to be our diameter divided by 2, right, because the diameter really is just 2 radii. So our radius here is 29. Plug those in. To our formulas, area is 2640.70 yards squared, and our circumference is 182.1 yards. Um, the circumference, I could use either one of these. I could have used um, 2 times pi times 29 or just pi times 58. Let's look at these other examples, and that's why I kind of went through those fast. We've done this before. Um, these we might have done before, but it's working backwards, so it's a little bit more challenging. So we want to find the diameter of a circle with the circumference. So we're given the circumference of this many meters. So we're going to have to work backwards. So 
since our one of our circumference formulas uses diameters, what I can do is I can use this. So circumference equals pi times diameter. So we've got a circumference of 65.97. So all I'm doing is plugging in what I know. I know pi, we're using 3.14 times diameter. And then all I'm doing is solving for my variable, dividing both sides by 3.14. And 21 is my diameter. OK, so these little word problems you're going to have to set up and then kind of work backwards. This second one, find the radius of a circle if we have the circumference of 35 pi yards. So this one, sometimes you'll see when they have some, um, they give the circumference or area, they don't actually multiply 3.14 by whatever um, they have. They just put pi in the answer, and that's perfectly fine as well. But we've got circumference equals, we can do this two different ways. It doesn't really matter which one. We can do 2 pi r, because we want the radius, right? So let's plug in what we know. We know the circumference is 35 pi, and then we got 2 pi r. So that pi, we know it's 3.14. So we can just divide out both the 2 pi from this side and divide out this 2 pi. What happens is, this pi, they just kind of cancel out each other. And they would even if we have multiplied them out. So then we have 35 divided by 2. When we do the math, that's 17.5. So our radius is 17.5. All right, these other examples are similar, except for let's look at them. So we want to know what the circumference is. End goal is circumference. And we know area is this many square inches. So what we need to do is use our area formula to find our radius to then be able to find our circumference. So our area is pi r squared. So let's plug in what we know. We know the area is 20106 equals 3.14 times r squared. So let's divide out both sides by 3.14, 3.14. And when I do that, I get 64.03 equals r squared. All right, what is the opposite of Squaring something. How do I get rid of a square? That's what we're trying to do, right? Whenever we're trying to get our variables by themselves, trying to do the opposite operation. Opposite operation is taking the square root. So I need to take the square root of both sides. And when I do that, I get 8. So my radius equals 8. So that's only half the battle. Remember, our end goal was circumference. So circumference is 2 pi r, so 2 times pi times 8. And when we do the math, we get our circumference of 50.24 inches. So this other last example is similar to that one. We want to find the area, end goal is area, and we're given circumference. Again, this one was given and left with pi in the answer of circumference. So if we've got circumference equals 2 pi r. And I use this one because for my area, I need to know radius, right? So we know 26 pi equals 2 pi r. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to divide out the 2 pi from both sides. What happens is that pi is just cross out automatically. I take 26 divided by 2, and I've got 13 equals r. So my radius is 13. All right, let's plug that into our area formula. We got area equals pi r squared. So area 
equals pi times 13 squared. Remember that 13 is the only thing that's going to be squared here. And our area equals 530.7 feet squared. And that is our final answer. All right, you're going to be looking at all of these kinds of problems. So let me know um, when you have questions.